Hey everyone, Adrenaline Junkie. Thanks for joining us on another trail ride video on the Hatfield McCoy Trail System in West Virginia. We'll be riding on the Rock House and Devil Ants Trail Systems today. We'll be picking up from where we left off in the last episode. We're just leaving our lunch break here, and we're going to make our way over to the Hatfield McCoy Family Cemetery. If you'd like to check out the previous episode before watching this one, then head on over to our YouTube channel where you can find that and a lot more cool videos. Also, if it's your first time joining us, make sure you hit that subscribe button. They're going to get gas. They are? Yeah. Everyone is? Yeah. Oh, they're all going to get gas. Are they? I think, yeah. yeah. That's what somebody said to me. Well, we got to go their way anyways. I'm still low. <laughs> If you watched the last episode, you're going to know we're almost out of fuel or low fuel lights on, so everyone's going to make their way to the cemetery and we're going to take a quick detour and go get some fuel. We've got Josh cruising in front of us in the Articat Wildcat Sport Limited. And we've got Razor Dave behind us in the Polaris Razor XP Turbo, just like the one we're in. It's going to be a nice scenic video. You get to see a lot of sights, a lot of the nice trail system, both Devil Ants and Rock House trails. We'll end up making our way to a scenic overlook at the end of the ride. And in between, we're going to have some fun times. This video will give you guys a good idea of what you can expect when you come out on a ride on the Hatfield McCoy trail system out here in West Virginia. There's a lot of things to do and see aside from just what's on the trail itself. We're also going to have some really cool chase cam footage where we follow Colin in his Maverick X3 Turbo down some awesome sections of trail. This is a nice trail. Looks like they're doing some trail work. Yeah. The great thing about the Hatfield and McCoy trail system is that it's very well maintained. All the trails except the Double Black Diamonds and the Black Diamond trails are maintained on a regular basis, whereas the Black trails are only maintained at the start of the season, which is what allows them to kind of break down and get more difficult as the year goes on. However, most of the other trails are very well kept so you can expect to have a really good riding experience while you're out here. Aside from all the awesome trails out here and the beautiful natural scenery, this area is very rich in history and there's a lot of historic sites around here. So if that stuff interests you, you'll definitely have a lot to take in. A lot of these trails are also used to access a lot of active mining sites. Although the coal mining industry in West Virginia and pretty much all over the states has crashed, there's still quite a bit of activity going on in the mountains due to various industrial reasons. Okay. Yeah, we gotta fix the flat tire. 
right or left? Uh, I'm not sure. Right. Sure right. Sure left. Yeah. left gas? Okay. I think. So we've made it to the Marathon gas station where 52 and 44 meet. Once we're fueled up, we're going to go down and meet the guys back at the Hatfield McCoy Cemetery. Oh, this is a long side. Where we came out of the trail is where the Rock House trail system and the Devil Ants trail system split. We took a left to come get some fuel. If we would have taken a right, we would have been a short road ride away from the cemetery. Those trails are great. Awesome, yeah. That, you can tell they're freshly groomed here then there. Yeah, the bulldozer out. We're all fueled up and ready for more action. We took a short cruise back down Route 44 towards the cemetery where we met up with the rest of the crew. They've got their tire fixed and a bunch of the guys are up checking out the grave sites. Since we were gone for about 20 minutes, we won't have a chance to run up to the grave sites with the cameras, so you'll have to stay tuned for future videos to get a glimpse of that footage. Those of you who follow us closely will know that this ride was shot in August 2017. We've been back to Hatfield McCoy Trail System twice in 2018 since that trip, where we shot a lot more awesome footage that'll be coming out in the future. How far of a walk is it? It's a hike. It's a hike. They're coming back and they say it's a hike. I'll just take a picture of the sign and say I went there. <laughs> Dave, stand there. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm not going back up to the Julian. Sorry to tell you, bud. I'm not going up there. What was, oh. up, what was up there? A lot of cemetery stuff. Oh. Yeah. yeah that's kind of cool. Wouldn't have gone. Yeah, like. Like little plots yeah, and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, every yeah, yeah. every place though. Like, uh, a lot of people, people live 30 years in too. there. Oh yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Some kids like a day. I guess some like five days. Like, right. like all old graves though. Oh yeah. Like nothing from the last yeah. few years. That's like the average life expectancy back then. Yeah. No. That's yeah. that's really. Uh, of his clan. So we're gonna take that trail 39 up to get the trails that I got. I'm full and ready to go. Yeah. If you want to stay up to date on future rides and possibly even join us on the trail on one of our next journeys, then follow us on Instagram and on Facebook. That's where I post all the info on upcoming rides and a lot of the pictures we take. We're only going to run the gas station. That's true. And back to that. What is going that? back into trail. that trail spot. Yeah, then trail 42 after. We did 41. So. so we left the cemetery and things get a little interesting here for a second. Notice the difference in audio quality. see James frantically trying to locate our external audio recorder. Looks like we don't have it. Where could it have gone?
disaster narrowly averted, and we managed to catch up with the group quickly at Trail 39 on the Devil Ants trail system. lucky to notice we didn't have the mic so quick and we were also lucky that no one drove over it or picked it up while we were gone. The difference in audio quality is insane. Having the microphone is a deal breaker. Without it, the audio is pretty much unusable in a lot of these videos. Like we mentioned when we found the microphone, it wasn't so much about losing the few hundred dollars that an audio recorder costs. The worst part is losing all the content on there. We're a day and a half into this ride and all the audio was on that recorder. So if we lost that, all the videos you've seen until this point would have been pretty much unwatchable and the content would have been unusable. It would have been a nightmare. I don't even want to think about how mad I would have been. Looks like we've caught up to Colin in the Can-Am Maverick X3 Turbo. Let's see if we can keep up.
This is amazing. This is the, this is the best trail ever. Can't see. Hey, it's Chris with Blind TV. Huge shout out to my buddy Chris. He's been watching these videos pretty much from day one. He drives the Yamaha YXC. You can't really see too well, but that does not slow this guy down. Chris wants to send everyone out there a message. Do what you love to do and don't let anything stop you or slow you down. If you got challenges, just get over them and learn to work around them.
have wind. Yeah? Yeah. It makes sense. Yeah. Maybe I should get some. Well, you sure don't miss them. My belt is like stuck. Yeah, they lock up. Just they lock up because you're in a boat or something. There we go. There's something touching it. Oh! Oh. Okay. That could have been painful for one of us. What? That could have been painful for one of us. plays a big difference too. We're definitely like, we want to go out and rip. Yeah. Where those, some of those other guys are filming their down. If that axle popping out of there could have been a lot worse if it smacked one of us in the heads, or I could have just lost it completely. Luckily, that's never gonna happen again, because since this happened, I've upgraded my spare axle holder to Sweet Unit from Super ATV.
amazed that tire hasn't come off the back of that machine. Yeah, it's on there good then, I guess. Yeah. Probably the best all weekend. I got stung by a bee or something. Really? Yeah. While riding. How do you like that? That's awesome, eh? Where'd they go? Yeah, I'm the last one. Go. Well, needless to say, that was awesome. The trails here, all those sharp whoops and bumps make it feel like you're on a roller coaster riding down that trail. It's so much fun. You just gotta really be careful not to hit some of those short pops too fast or you will endo pretty bad and you could crash or lose control. And like you guys have seen, you do not want to lose control out here. It's not very forgiving terrain. Just like Rock House, Devil Ants has some wicked, wicked trails. <laughs> Like outside. 
Hey guys, is it okay if I film your cruisers and stuff? I just wanted to come check them out. Hey, how's it going? Oh yeah, we're uh, up here from Canada, uh, Ontario. Where are y'all staying at? Twin Hollow. Uh, Don't worry guys. We're good, how you doing? Good, good, awesome. We got a YouTube channel from our riding. Yeah, you guys have some beautiful trails oh, here, Oh, it's amazing man. It's awesome. out here. It's awesome. Yeah. I guess you guys have a toy, too. Yeah. Or, not really a toy, but <laughs> work vehicle, right? That's what you're looking for? Gross. Oh, and then oh. they find something, they call you guys. Wow. Is there a big problem around here? Yes. Yeah. Is it safe around here? I mean, like, uh, you let your daughter walk around? Yeah, it depends on where you are. And what time it is. Or? Yeah. Yeah. Probably wouldn't just send her up the road by herself. No. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's beautiful, that's for sure. We're uh, cool. very impressed by the terrain. Yeah. Have a great day, guys. Yeah, have a good one. Thank you. That's neat. So that's what they're doing. Yeah. They're waiting for a Did report and then they'll every, rip out. Every single one of them had two and they had a cup. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's just pulled to the top. You know what they're doing with that thing? There's a helicopter flying, they're looking for pot. What? So the copper, when the chopper sees something suspicious, he calls them, they go up to the trail and they investigate it. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Tell Josh to follow. Yeah, yeah. I got uh, nailed by a wasp or something. I'm kind of scared I'm gonna get stung. She's been stung, you stung, Yeah. King's we must have flown, like in that last trail there, there must have been some, oh, no, some sort of big nest. Before. Oh yeah? This one's like tingling, my like arms tingling. Die. Where was the camera? Hmm? Where was the mic? Oh, uh, on the ground back at the, um, at the yeah, cemetery. I don't, I'm, we must, I, no, I must have put it on the back of the machine or something. So lucky no one ran it over. It's just lying in the dirt. Almost had a heart attack. Head back? Yeah, I'm going to take the road back. Okay. Yeah, going to be there in an hour. Okay, we'll, we'll come hey, back soon. We'll come back soon. They're going to take the road back. hear me mentioning my dad. My parents live in South Carolina currently. I live in Ontario, Canada. So uh, my old man's coming out to meet us at Twin Hollow Campground. Since it's only about five hours away from where my parents live, it's gonna be a good time getting him out on the trail with us there all day tomorrow. 
It'll give him a chance to experience the trails and have a bunch of fun with us. Riding is always a great way to spend some quality time with friends and family. We just pulled over here because Lee in the Razor 1000, the one with the whips there, said he was feeling something funny in this front end. So it's better to err on the side of caution and just make sure everything's okay in there. What's up? If something is messed up with your machine, it's a heck of a lot better figuring it out on the road, off the trail, than having it fail when you need it most. Especially around here like we mentioned earlier. You don't want to run into any issues on some of those trails. If you guys want any Team AJP or Adrenaline Junkie Prod t-shirts or stickers, make sure you check out our Shopify store. I'll be adding new stuff on there on a regular basis, so hopefully you can find something you like. All the proceeds go directly back into making wicked content for you guys to enjoy. So we're off the Devil Ants trail system now, and we're back on the Rock House system again. Currently we're on trail 42, and slowly we're going to work our way back to Twin Hollow Campground and Cabins in the town of Gilbert. Do you have a canister as well? Yes. A Donaldson canister filter, the best filtration you can get. 1000 XP was released. The second chip off, yeah, I think it was ever since the 1000 came out, they had a dollar for some canister. Getting a water bottle or an object stuck under your gas or your brake can be really bad. I've noticed that the cup holders on these machines do not hold anything well if you're geeing out or if you're getting any kind of air. So make sure you keep that in mind when you're riding on rough terrain. I've had stuff bounce out of there multiple times. I can't. What? I gotta wait for them. Oh yeah.
go. Yeah. The jump has to be longer than the wheelbase of the machine. Or you gotta be real careful. That was a scary one. Yeah.
up. Man, these things are taking a beating. Don't go up this way. That would be a f***ing hell They think we went up this way. Who is? They all think we went up this way. Hey, come on, you pussies. We went up. Isaac's gonna try it. <laughs> ha! <laughs> He's covering his eyes. <laughs> we told them we came up right here. They think this is where we came up. Look. They're lining up to try. <laughs> I think you could like go down it. Go down. No, but those are bitty. Yeah, those are massive rocks. You can go down it. What's well, not? You got her what? <laughs> what? You couldn't climb it? What? You couldn't climb it? I didn't know how to get up here. Nah, we, we came up the same way. <laughs> That was awesome. That was my that, favorite. That was a lot of fun. In all the trails we've done, like since we got in here, that was like by oh. far, hands down, the most nice one, like the most beautiful yeah. and the most and fun. That's what Dan and I were like, oh, oh man, it was like a roller coaster. Yeah, it was. Yeah. It was just oh, woo -woo -woo. You looked. At, I mean, you're not driving, so you've yeah. seen how like oh. little room for f***ing up there is oh. on some of those. Oh, and I mean, like you're cutting it short. Like you look over, it's like 300 feet. I know. And I said, a Dan, boulder. Like, <laughs> that's not soft grass. <laughs> Oh no. It's like when we roll over at home, it's like, squish. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, like one of the pennies, you don't slow. Yeah, it's like, it's like, nice you, over there this cage sinks into the dirt, we pull out, yeah. There's nothing sinking into the dirt here. Oh. You didn't get all wet, it was just me. Chris, uh. It was cold, Julian. That's good. No, that's not good. You don't want your butt to get too hot. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody likes a hot foot. Well, are you sure? <laughs> you got <laughs> soap? You won't get up that ledge. You will not get up that ledge without breaking. Well, that's why we're here, no? Hey, I'm, I'm down to watch anything. No. You, you could get down it, but if you pick your line right, but it's a little sketchy. I don't know if it's better to go down where he is or to the far right. Yeah, I was thinking that too. Yeah. It kind of looks like it's been done before. Oh, someone's probably done it. Yeah. SG. No man, this one's all right. <laughs> you guys a little closer to the Polaris there, Dan. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for checking out another video and joining us on this ride. I hope you enjoyed yourselves, and if you haven't checked out West Virginia yet, I'm hoping this video gave you a taste of what you can expect. Please make sure to subscribe to both of our YouTube channels, follow us on Instagram, like us on Facebook, consider becoming one of our patrons, and check out our Shopify store. See you in the next video, and ride safe out there.